Hi guys, today I will be unboxing Schumann. This is his first mini album, brand new. It's his debut and I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. I knew he was eventually going to make a solo debut ever since he discharged from the military and it finally happened and I just loved his comeback, but we'll get into that later. So here are the versions. We have the two photo book versions as well as the digipack and the version names are Desert, Oasis, and Mirage. Even the digipack has a name. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the unboxing. We'll start with the photo book versions. I just love the polar opposites and concepts for the photo book versions. <laughs> love that. All right, let's get into, well, I did not show I have some freebies, but um, yeah, we don't really need to go through them. <laughs> let's get into the unboxing. I'm so excited to go through this. We finally have a Schumann album. That's the front, very summery, of course, except for he's wearing this jacket. <laughs> he's gonna be extra warm. That's the back with the track list down there. I have to say, this album really impressed me. I'm, I, It's even hard for me to pick one favorite track because I literally downloaded the entire album on my playlist. Um, if I had to pick one favorite, I think I would pick Feedback. That one's actually like really cool. I love the sound to that one. And I also really like the track featuring Mark of NCT, How We Do. I like that one too. But if I had to pick one favorite, I think Feedback would be my favorite, but I really, really loved the entire album the um as i said the whole album got downloaded on my playlist <laughs> and when i say my playlist it's like my all-time favorite songs yeah it's kind of hard to get into that playlist and when a whole album gets in there you know you did good <laughs> in my books <laughs> i'm just gonna take my photo cards out i actually have not seen what any of the cards look like at all i have not seen any unboxings i haven't even seen the photo cards get leaked so um <laughs> it's going to be a big surprise to see what i get i i'm not even really sure what i pulled out if i pulled out a postcard or not not too sure Ooh, what's up with the blurry photos that's actually kind of aesthetic i guess <laughs> as we uh can see he did cut his hair really short it's um bright blonde yeah it's actually kind of cute he looks really adorable in it actually i'm not sure about the blonde but the cut is definitely cute on him he really suits the cut oh, of course he does pull off the blonde as well but I uh, personally like it when he has darker hair, but of course he looks amazing. Brand new is his title track, and I have to say it's one of my favorite EXO solos, like overall, if I'm going to be honest. I don't know, there's something about that song. This is an interesting fit, like no shirt, titties out and everything, and this fluffy coat. That is an interesting fit, but anyways, um, oh, I actually really like his boots. Anyways, or it looks like a hot air balloon. But anyways, um, yeah, I have to say, brand new, I don't know, it's stuck in my head right now. Because anytime now I read the words brand new, I just think about his song and it immediately gets stuck in my head. <laughs> it's really catchy and the dance is cute too. Oh, I love the, um, the design in here. This song though is so, I was like, I actually first listened to it in the car when I was with my mom. And I we like reacted to it at the same time and... That one part, like the oh my god part, is that lyrics in here? It's not, but you know the oh my god part? We both kind of like looked at each other and laughed, but we liked it. We were like, that's cool. <laughs> that's um, kind of like a reason why I think that song is unique. Not That's not the only reason, but yeah. <laughs> I think he's doing really well, honestly. His uh, title track slaps and his b-sides are like unexpectedly really good not that i wasn't expecting good of course i was but it's even better than what i was expecting and i was already expecting great music from him so yeah <laughs> and how we do is featuring mark at nct him and mark already have a song together young and free yes i think that released in like 2016 or something like that so it's been a while it was nice to have them on a track together again he's had his abs out this entire photo book so far <laughs> This jacket is so cute. I actually want that for myself. Also, I noticed that SM is doing the same packaging for their artist solos, except for Key, because he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> if it wasn't for Key fighting for the design he wanted, he probably would have gotten this same packaging and a digi pack as well. Not that there's really anything wrong with this packaging. I actually kind of like it. The pages are nice and glossy and they feel really good quality. It's not that bad of a size. I like the size. It's a bit bigger than your average photo book style photo book, but it's not super big like the NCT Dream 
Hello Future album and um, like Chinese Don't Call Me. Those are like too big and they don't really have a spine. This one actually has a little spine. So I don't really have any complaints about the packaging actually. And so far the photo book is really pretty. Like the cactuses in the back. Even though I do prefer summer over winter, I still feel like I will really like the the other version. It's like more wintry and icy kind of looking. This is a really nice song. I like this song as well. But of course, every song, as I said, is <laughs> so good. I wish I could have skin like his. So perfect. <laughs> so that was the very beautiful photo book. Ooh, I like this last page. Credits. Okay, that's such a nice setup here. It's like a huge folded paper boat, you know? <laughs> okay, let's look at the CD orange. It's like a metallic orange. Okay, bringing stuff out. We have a postcard. Let's see which one we got. We got this very beautiful one, raised eyebrow. Very cute. And his collarbones. I don't know why I'm pointing that out. <laughs> I'm like pointing out the most random things. Okay, so that's the postcard. We got the SM ad, which is sadly not personalized, but Oh well. And we got stickers as well. Ooh, they're like long stickers. <laughs> nice. From the photo shoot. Very pretty. Okay. And we got one photo card. One photo card. That's the back, I think. Okay. Let's just flip it. We got. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. What does that say? Oh, it says hello. Oh, that's so cute. He is glowing. The sun is shining on him. And he's just smiling so cutely with his eyes closed. I missed his signature. <laughs> Does his message say, Solo Debi Tugun Tugun? <laughs> Does it say that? But anyways, that's really cute. I actually kind of like the back of his card. I don't know, I really like this text here. <laughs> All right, sorry. I'm like staring at the cards. That was the first version. Now we'll go through the Oasis version. It's very icy. He's like an ice prince in this one. <laughs> Front cover. He's like sitting on ice sculptures back with the track list in the corner you know i'm like needing to reorganize my whole exo section okay let's get into it oops yeah like my whole exo section it's i'm like looking at it right now i think it's actually just oh yeah my whole exo section is just the group because they have too many albums and then a lot of the members have made solo debuts by now and then we got their subunits of course, it's all not going to fit on one shelf. So I have EXO on one shelf. I have their um, solos on another shelf. And even that doesn't all fit. <laughs> it's crazy. And then I have their subunits on another shelf. Yeah, I'm going to have to reorganize. But you know, if I had like less albums in my room, I would make my shiny and EXO shelves. Wait, I'm just wondering, are these photos the same? Because it's the same photo shoot. Okay, we're just going to keep going because I can't remember and I want to finish what I was saying. But um, if I had less albums in my room, I would make my shiny and exo shelf more like organized and not so like clumped together, you know? I would spread them out more and have it more like display looking. Yeah, I always wanted that actually. But um, I mean, I could do that, but it just means I would have to put all... Oh, this is definitely different. It means I would have to put my other albums in like boxes and what's the fun in that i do also like displaying my other albums in my room but to me my shiny and my exo collection is the most precious to me and i wish i could show it off more because i tend to have everything as i said earlier kind of like squished together and it's not really as pretty as it could be <laughs> i just set everything up in a way that makes it all fit so yeah, I definitely would like to have more of a display, but anyways, now we're getting more into the ice portion of the photo book. And of course, there he is still with his shirt open, abs out, you know, as he should, I guess, if he has the body for it. Oh, wow, he has pink hair here. Look how cute. I like that little beanie and his um, piercings. Wow. And I also really like the pink sky in the back that's really cute okay i feel like this pier these piercings are not real <laughs> but they look really good on him damn is he not cold though i'm kidding 
He, he looks like he's in the freezing cold Arctic and he has no shirt on. Well, he does, but you know, <laughs> okay. Anyways, I actually want to listen to this album again. I'm going to stick the CD in my CD player. The thing about listening to CDs on a CD player is that you're not um, counting towards like Spotify listens or whatever it's called. Like <laughs> it doesn't really streams. That was the word I meant to say. It doesn't really count for the streams, but I actually like listening to the CDs on the CD player because that's how I grew up. I grew up listening to CDs on like a Walkman or a stereo. Yeah, that's that's my era. So <laughs> I always love popping the CDs in my CD player. I used to have a stereo, but it broke. So because it's old, like me, just kidding. <laughs> but um, so I bought one of those, you know, those CD players that you just stick on and you can see the CD. Yeah, if you've seen my room tour from a couple years ago, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. A lot of K-pop fans have that CD player. But anyways, I like sticking the CD on there. It's fun. And I like seeing it spin around. <laughs> okay, so that was the very beautiful Oasis version photo book. And the CD. Oh, look it. It looks like... Why is it melting, though? It should be freezing cold. Anyways, okay. We have the blue CD. Okay. All right, bringing out the SM ad here, the postcard. Let's see which one I got. That's cute. I don't know what I'm expecting for the postcards. It's just going to be a photo of Schumann, obviously. <laughs> There's that one. Very adorable. Stickers. There they are. He's just so cute in that little hat. <laughs> oh, something is falling. <laughs> okay. That's the stickers and the photo card. That's the back, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, let's see which one we got. Oh, that's cute. I don't know what more I'm expecting other than cuteness. <laughs> Very adorable. I missed having Schumann photo cards. I know we did have his photo card for um, Don't Fight the Feeling, but it's just really nice to have Schumann solo photo cards. His message there says, I missed you so, so much. We did too, Schumann. I also like when idols hold flowers in their photo cards. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so that was that one. And lastly, we'll go through the Digipack version. We'll just go through the one and then I'll open up the other one for the photo card. That's the front cover. It's obviously going to be different. I'm pretty sure more scenes from the uh, music video because that's usually, typically, what the Digipacks contain inside. Oh, can't speak. <laughs> Ooh, I like the purple CD. That's really pretty metallic purple. I'll go through that um, poster in a second. Let's just take this out. All right, let's get into the photo book. It's actually pretty thick. That's not bad. Not bad for a digipack. I believe when I opened NCT Dreams digipacks, they didn't... Ah, yes, we got some more photos here totally different. I love that. But I was saying, um, theirs were more thinner. They did not have so many photos, but theirs were member versions. So he has little frost all over his face and his eyelashes. I love that. It kind of reminds me of the 17, um, Sector 17 photo shoot. <laughs> they did the same thing, kind of. I love that. I hope I have a photo card that has him in this outfit. Oh, I just love these goggles or whatever you call them snowboarding glasses i don't know what to call them oh i like this outfit too i'm excited to see the cards now and we got a bunch of different photo shoots in this one not bad for a digipack okay that was actually really pretty to be honest i liked that photo shoot the best i also really liked the other ones too so Let's see my um, poster here. Ooh, I like this. I like him in the hoodie, so yeah, I, I like this a lot. <laughs> okay, that was that poster. What do we have here? The SM ad, of course. And the photo card. That's all that's left. That's the back, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I got him in the green outfit. That's so adorable. He is the sweetest. Look at him. All right. I also like that all the backs are different. I mean, they're all pretty similar, but 
the text is different color and whatnot. I'm really excited to collect all the cards. Can't wait to see all the rest. I need to look up the template now. Okay, and now we'll just check this one for the photo card. It's most likely going to be the same, but when I did this exact same thing for Onu, I bought two photo books and two digipacks together all in one, and the digipacks were all different stuff, so kind of praying for that energy for this, but we'll see. I won't be disappointed if it's um the same. <laughs> okay. It's different! Oh my gosh! I don't have to trade. I wouldn't have minded trading actually, but nice! Look how cute he is. Oh, he wrote in Chinese there. He just drew a little present. His message says, a present for you, I think. I just realized it actually says, I prepared a gift for you, because he wrote Chun Bi Han, so he prepared a gift for us. <laughs> this album really was a present for us though, because it was so good and we just really missed Schumann, so. Uh, let me see what the poster is. It's probably different since the uh, photo card was different. Oh, it's the same. If I looked at the poster first, I would have thought the photo card would be uh, the same. <laughs> All right. So that was everything then. So that was my unboxing of Schumann Brand New. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.